we are. We are headed north. I'm just filling up at my favorite gas station here. And we're going to go up to Cloquet today. From there, we're going to go to Ely, then back to Cloquet, then over to Grand Rapids, then to the Mille Lacs area. It's early, as you can see, it's still dark. But we're getting out there and we're going to give it a shot going up north. Let's go fishing. We made it to our first destination, kind of in between Cloquet and Duluth. We're at the Fish Lake Flowage. Of course, I had my breakfast of champions, some combos, and some turkey jerky. And we're all fueled up and ready to go. So I'm going to have the cameras rolling today, and we're going to go for some largemouth bass, maybe some panfish. We'll see what's biting. All right, here we are on the Fish Lake Flowage. Cloquet slash Duluth area, Minnesota. And what in the world is on my line but a KVD frog? Yes, I do have a Kevin Van Dam frog. I've used Booyah, Spro, Swamp Donkey, Live Target. Let's try a KVD. We have our first KVD fish, and we'll let him go. I've been a frog record magnet lately. There's a frog bass. Nice fish. Cloquet area. There we go. Frog wrecker. What do we got? A little frog wrecker. A wrecker of frogs. <laughs> that was, what do I got here? Oh, this is a bass. All right. Nice one. There we go. So, I'm throwing in there, and I see a reed go. Right when my frog got by it, so I knew something was coming. And I am happy to see a largemouth. There we go. Unfortunately, we got him in the tongue. How much would that hurt? There we go. Popped right out. Nice. Let's get a couple more of those. Yeah, the way northerns kind of follow and shoot out from the reeds, I thought, oh, maybe it's a northern. However, nice surprise. Good to know they're around here. We're working this cattail edge here, and we just got to where there's a few reeds just off the edge of them, and that's where that fish came. So we got a nice stretch of that kind of water. We've got about four feet right here by the boat, so decent depth. Get another bass. That little northern hit it as soon as it hit the ground. 
Another frog wrecker. Man, there's a lot of a lot of small northerns around. The other good news is we've caught a couple of bass too. Been a couple of weeks of losing frogs. Well, there you have it. My time at Fish Lake is finishing up. Got here relatively early, especially since we left for Minoka, and had about three or four hours on the water. The weather, I think, dictated how we fished a little bit. I think it dictated how the fish bit. It was a bit of a slow bite. Managed a few frog bass, lots of northerns, and a couple of perch. Couldn't get any crappies or sunnies to bite this time. But our northern journey is just starting. So we're going to pack it up. We're going to go check into our hotel in Cloquet, rest up a bit, and then move on with the fishing. I know there's some big ones out there. And we're gonna find them. All right, good morning, everybody. It's day two of our northern trip. We are filling up in Cloquet and we're headed to Ely, Minnesota. Yes, the sky is dark again. We're getting an early start. We're gonna do a little morning fishing. Then I'm gonna go see my Uncle Dewey. And then we'll see about maybe some later day fishing. And then it'll be back to Cloquet here where we're kind of based out of. Yesterday was a bit slow with the fishing. We did get some fish in the boat, but I'm hoping for some nice northerns and smallmouth and whatever else wants to bite in Ely, Minnesota. Cameras will be rolling. It's always a great day when you can be fishing. Made it to Ely. What a beautiful morning it is. Um, a little brisk. It's about 45 degrees, so it should warm up nicely today. We're going to fish Shagwa Lake to start out. It's a lake I grew up going to. Part of my family is from Ely. So it's just nice to be back in town. I'm going to fish for mm, three or four hours, and then I'm going to meet up with my uncle for lunch. After lunch, we'll see where we want to go fishing. So, as usual, the camera will be rolling. Let's catch some fish. There it is. Anybody can catch a monster, but how many can catch a smallie as small as the lure?
That, my friends, is a tiny smallmouth. We've all had days when our, our eyes are bigger than our stomachs. Look at that, that lure is almost the same size as the fish. All right, we've got one in the boat. All right, DNR lorries, lucky flicker shad. Let's see if we can get some. Fish on. I heard a jump back there. We got a smallie. Yep. Yeah. A little smallie. Actually, three times the size of the first one we got. This to hold on to. All right, got one trolling. Maurice flicker shed catches another species. Well, we're all finished up here on Shagwa Lake. It was another slow day. Got a few fish in the boat. Uh, some of the smallest smallmouth bass I've ever caught in my life. Sometimes these northern lakes can be tough. I grew up coming to Ely because my mom is from here. And I remember in the summertime, we'd ask my grandpa to go fishing. And he'd go, ah, it's no good. He had his special times of the year in the spring and the fall picked out. And I think Grandpa was on to something. These lakes can be tough in the summer. I'm sure if you're a local and you're watching this, you know where to go to get them. So, I'm going to go have a nice lunch with my uncle. And we'll see about some fishing after lunch. Alright, we're back at it. Let's give it another try. We're here at Eagle's Nest 3 near Ely, Minnesota. It's a lake that's close to my heart. It's where I grew up learning how to fish. Had a great aunt and uncle that had a cabin on here. So, regardless of what happens, it'll be just nice to be on the lake. And it is a beautiful lake. It's only one way to find out what's working. Let's get out there and fish. Last chance with the chrome skitter prop. There we go. It's a better one. Ooh, that's a big one. All right. All right. How about that? And that guy is chunky. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. His belly is full. Nice. That was worth waiting for. Alright. Gotta make the day. Our time is finished up here on Eagle's Nest 3 Lake near Ely, Minnesota. Another slow day. We got some higher winds today, colder temperatures, although it did warm up a little bit this afternoon. But finally, as I'm headed towards the landing, I caught a nice smallie. So that'll kind of make the day for us. We're going to drive back to Cloquet and then, you know, after a couple of days of getting up really early. I think tomorrow would be a good idea to get up really early and drive to Grand Rapids. 
We're going to Favorite Lake tomorrow. And if you've seen some of my videos, my favorite lake in Grand Rapids usually produces some pretty big largemouth bass. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Okay, so we're leaving our home base for the last two days, and that's Black Bear Casino Resort. What a nice place to stay. If you ever get a chance, check it out. The food is excellent. Their buffet, I would say, is the best in Minnesota. And you can trust me on buffets. Um, we we're going to get a early start this morning to go out to Grand Rapids but as you can see there's some weather moving through the area and Grand Rapids didn't look very fishable so I took the opportunity to sleep in till about six or seven so we're gonna get on the road we're gonna see how Grand Rapids looks and we're gonna get a good chance to fish it's supposed to clear off later in the day and we're gonna get some big ones We made it to beautiful Favorite Lake here in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Got behind a caravan, had some thunderstorms, but we're here. Let's see what's biting today. It's nice to come to a place that you have confidence, and that's just an awesome place to visit. We are on spot number eight. Yes, a slow day so far. Yes, I'm still hopeful. Let's get some fish. There we go. Fish on. And we got a frog wrecker. Northern trip continues. Well, favorite lake this morning was a bit of a disappointment. Only one northern, no bass on a frog. I would have never guessed that that could happen. But hey, that's why they call it fishing and not catching. So, we're not going to scratch it off our list as our favorite, but we're going to try some new waters tonight. I'm by Grand Rapids, and there's a paper mill, and there's kind of a backwaters of the Mississippi. Whenever I'm in town, I stop at Thousand Lakes Sporting Goods. On a previous visit, one of the guys there told me that this could be a good stretch, especially with my kayak. So I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to try to get some fish in the boat. Whatever's willing to bite on a slow day, we'll even let some frog wreckers in the boat if they want to come. All right, there's our landing just in case. I always put a mark down where I started. Never know where we're going to end up, so we want to know where we need to come back to. We'll try some of the edges and go from there. Hoping for a monster. Got some food in our belly. Sat in the massage chair for about a half hour. Life is good. 10.8 feet right here. All right, there's got to be something cruising the edges. There we go. That's a bass, and a nice one too. We're just about gonna be too close to it. We have been waiting all day for a nice bass like that. All right. And he took it like a champ.
This is my first Mississippi largemouth bass. Grand Rapids area. That's the kind of fish we've been looking for. Nice three and a half, maybe close to four pounder. One of many, hopefully. That's really rewarding after a long day of casting to finally get a largemouth to bite. First 10 minutes we've been here, working the weed edge, or working the edge, and we got a lot of edge heading around the lake. Chunky River Largemouth. Fish on. Rolling in like a northern. There we go. Alright. What do we got? It's a little bigger northern. All right, here we are at the Mississippi. We're finishing up our night of fishing on our northern tour. We're by Grand Rapids, Minnesota. What a start we had. In the first 10 minutes, we had a, about a four pounder in the boat, a four pound largemouth. Um, after that, it slowed down just like the rest of the day. But that's okay, we're getting out. We got some northerns trolling. You always gotta try some different techniques when one isn't working. And you know me, I like to be stubborn and throw a frog. But it was nice to get some northerns in the boat too. We've got another morning of fishing here in the Grand Rapids area. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go tomorrow morning, but you can be sure the camera will be rolling. Good morning once again. It's day three of our northern adventure and we're leaving Grand Rapids. Got a little bit of a later start today because it's about 45 degrees this morning. We're going to let it warm up a little bit. We're going to hit a lake somewhere in the area. We're going to try to find one that's going to produce. And I'm going to go for some panfish this morning. Maybe some northerns. Uh, maybe some bass too. We'll see how the lake looks. Uh, do want to get out there as quick as possible because it looks like the wind's going to be up today, so we'll try to catch it while it's a little bit low this morning. Let's go fishing! Favorite lake bass. Had to come back. Got zero hits on a frog yesterday. Now we got one in. Very awesome. All right, not a monster monster, but when you haven't got one for a while, feels great. All right, back he goes. Let's see if we can make it a couple here.
Hey, that is a nice fish. Doesn't look like he's been caught before. Nice. Seems a little beat up. All right, two in the boat. Both of them off the points. This one's kind of a shorter point. That one's kind of a bigger point. Get my point. Now that's a sigh of relief to get a couple of bass on favorite lake. Because yesterday there was nothing. I will say today the water's a lot more clean. I don't know if it was the storm that came through, but there was this bluish green, greenish algae everywhere. And I don't really see it today. That's a nice bass. There we go. Alright. Oof. Look at that guy. That is interesting. Nice. There we go. That is a chunky guy. We're going to have to get a picture of him. We're going to put him on the scale. I'm guessing 3 pounds 14 ounces because they're never 4 pounds here. Let's see what we got. I hate when I'm right. Oh. 3 pounds 14 ounces on the button. <laughs> that is a nice fish. It's interesting, the fish are kind of beat up or they got a little something going on there. So, but really nice fish. Awesome. He came back three times after that. Yeah, so those are kind of a weed I fish early in the season. It looks like the the roots on, on them are kind of burnt or they're brownish. So it's kind of staying away from them for a while. But maybe we need to look into it. He was tucked right back in between there and the, the reeds. And like I say, he showed himself a couple of times and I kind of made an awkward cast backwards and luckily got a good enough hook set. Oh, that is a big something. goodness. Okay, so what was going to be a quick stopover at Favorite Lake in Grand Rapids ended up being about a two and a half hour stopover. Finally got some frog bass to bite. Today seems like a different day. Yesterday was just shut down. It seems like the algae was a little better today, 
that seemed to help. Uh, we had a little more stable weather. Yesterday we had a storm right before I came. It's still pretty cool, so I'm guessing the fishing is going to get a little better before uh, fall here. Work starting next week, so I'm going to have to get out here on a weekend if I am able to get out here at all. But I'm glad I had today. It's nice to get a couple of good chunky bass in the boat. Actually I got three in the boat and definitely I'll include that footage. I lost a monster something in the middle of all the weeds. Uh, fought it for a while, saw a flash of its side. Didn't look like a bass, didn't look like a northern. Could it be a walleye? I'm guessing it might have been a dogfish. So I'm hoping when I zoom in on the footage I can tell what it was. Because if you're like me, when you lose a big one you kind of like to know what it is. Well we just finished up on Favorite Lake and I can't resist. There's so many great lakes around Grand Rapids, we're going to go to Favorite Panfish Lake and see if we can jig up some crappies. But having caught a couple of bass early in the morning on a different lake, I thought, well, maybe they're hitting today. So within my first couple of casts, I had one on. And then after that, it was five hours of awesome bass fishing. All right, I'm wrapping up here in the Grand Rapids portion of my northern trip. Favorite panfish lake saves the day. If you would have told me I was going to have one of the best days of bass fishing I've ever had, I would have thought you were crazy. I know this lake has some big fish in it. I caught a five pounder on my ultralight last year while I was pan fishing. But I never expected to have the action I did with the frog bass. I'm so glad I decided to come here. It was one of those, hey, I'm driving to Mille Lacs, I should get going. But I came over here and about my second cast, right there, is where the first fish hit. And it got off and I felt so disappointed. I thought maybe that was my only chance because it's been so slow lately. Well, I decided to tie on a new frog and that new frog was a winner because we got at least four four pounders in the boat and I can't even I don't even know how many bass I caught um, to show you how pessimistic I was about the day I brought my camera with just an hour left on the SD card and so I actually had to go back to my car and get my the rest of my equipment I've used every battery I've filled up the SD card man what a fun day well We've got another day left. We're going to fish the Mille Lacs area. I had thought about trying for some smallmouth tonight, but I think we're going to be getting in a little bit late. So we might get up early tomorrow, depending on the wind, and try for some smallmouth on Mille Lacs, or maybe even troll for some northerns. I've got one more day left, and then my job starts on Friday. So it's just nice to have a good trip to finish off the summer season. Don't worry, there'll still be more videos. I plan on fishing all the way through the fall, just not every day. stop on our northern trip. We're at beautiful Lake Mille Lacs. And we're going to try to get some northerns and smallmouth in the boat today. If a muskie wants to bite, that's fine too. We're going to do some trolling. And then when I hit the weed edge, if the trolling is slow, we're going to go with some topwaters. And the last time I did that, we got a nice smallie in the boat.
Trolling on Malax. Let's get a big one. Fish on. Like it might be a small smallmouth. Let's see what we got. Staying down. Maybe it's just figuring out it's hooked. I think we got a northern. Oh no, we got a nice smallie. There we go. First fish of the day. Well, we made it. We're back home, back in Anoka, Minnesota. The fishing was tough at times, but we caught fish on every lake we went to. A trip isn't always made by the number of fish you catch, but by the journey itself, and the people you see, and the things that you do. It was nice to have one really great day of fishing. Well, this brings me to the end of our report for this week. It was a northern trip. So I kind of consider everything once work starts as kind of the fall season, even though we do have a little bit of summer left. I'm going to keep bringing you videos. I appreciate you watching this one. Good luck fishing wherever you're at. See you on the water next week.